Hey y'all, happy Sunday. So back in January or February, I bought these dishes from Walmart and I didn't want to open them until I had another set because anytime I have dishes, I like to have at least eight of everything, plates, bowls, whatever. These are from Time and Table from Walmart. What got me hooked on these is last fall, I used some of them in some fall decor that I had last year. I actually have them up in the cabinet here. I'll show you a bowl so you see what it looks like. It's like this white polka dot with the gold rim around the edge, if you can see that. And um, I used these in my fall decor here in the house last year, and I really liked them. So I decided I wanted to have them as our everyday dinnerware. I finally found a second box yesterday at a local Walmart. So now I'm gonna take all these out and I'm either gonna hand wash them or put them in the dishwasher. I haven't decided yet because my old dishes, these that are in here, my old dishes are, they either go into my mom or my sister. I don't know if my mama decided she was gonna give them to my sister or not. However, I'm gonna get these dishes out of these boxes so that I can get them in the dishwasher and get the old dishes out of the cabinet and put the new dishes in. Okay, sorry y'all, the TV is on. So from those single, like a la carte dishes I bought last year that I told y'all I used in my fall um, home decor, I had some plates and stuff. So I ended up with 10 plates, 10 um, salad plates, 10 bowls, and then those two little, um, I don't know what you call them, but I use them for like avocado toast. And my one lonely coffee mug. So I'm gonna have to look on walmart.com and see if I can find any more of the mugs because yeah i just have one i have plenty of coffee mugs but i only have one of these and i at least want two y'all at least two but yeah i've boxed up the old dishes and washed up and put away the new ones and i love them Okay, y'all, I'm really thinking about sending my round coffee table back to buy this one for $55. And it's almost the perfect size to go in my sectional. I know I keep changing all my decisions, but 
I like this one a lot. It's almost perfect. I bought a rug, y'all. Y'all want to see? And here she is. I think I landed a good one here. This one here came from Tarjay. I just happened to be going down the aisle looking for pillows and I had to go down the rug aisle because there was somebody blocking the end of the pillow aisle that I wanted to go down. And when I was going down the rug aisle, I just happened to see this one and I thought, hmm, well, it's not that expensive. And if I don't like it, it's just going back to Target, which is just on the other side of town. So why not take a chance? Now, you know, with Target rugs, sometimes they're not the ideal deal size and I had to make sure that this one was going to give me the amount of coverage that I needed and as you can see right here I got plenty of space under the front foot of the chair that's what I wanted and it's that way all the way around there's extra room on that end over there oh I meant to tell you all about a blanket basket too we'll get to that in a minute yeah target rugs aren't 8 by 10 or 9 by 12 or 10 by 14 this one is a 7 by 10 and I remember when I went to see my daughter this past weekend she mentioned that she doesn't like the size of Target rugs either but I thought you know what I'm gonna just take a chance like I said if it's too small or I end up not liking it I can always return it so yeah this is the one that I'm sticking with I like it I asked my husband if he liked it and he said yes I was surprised he said yes because he normally doesn't really have an opinion on anything but he actually liked this one so if you want to see this rug on the Target website I think it's by the brand Threshold well I know it's by the brand Threshold but it's not a collab with Studio McGee because if it had been it probably would have been a lot more expensive than what I paid for it. I'll link it down in the description box below if you're interested. Next, I bought a blanket basket. Before, in the living room, if you watched my first vlog about this um, living space, back here was a blanket holder ladder thing, and I gave that to my mom. And I decided to buy a basket for blankets instead because I think it's just a more cozy look, a more inviting look. I don't know. It's just a thing nowadays to have a blanket basket, so I bought one. And this one came from Home Goods. I believe it was $39.99, but I just happened to find a rug that I didn't return in the trunk of my car this past weekend, and the rug was like $27.99. I just got store credit for that and used it towards this basket, so it kind of made it feel like I didn't pay $40 for this basket. So yeah, it's the perfect size. It's right here at the end of the sofa where I sit. My favorite blanket, of course, is straight across the top. It's my absolute fave, and it's by Barefoot Dreams, and this is my other Barefoot Dreams blanket. But nowadays, y'all, there are so many dupes to these blankets that are just as soft where you don't have to pay the price of these you can buy them on amazon and they're like less than half the price and they're just as soft in the future when i want blankets like this that's probably what i'm gonna do so anyway y'all i finally got a rug for this space i know y'all are tired of hearing about it but i'm happy and i'm proud of myself and i hope y'all are proud of me too all right, y'all. So I want to make a couple of changes in my kitchen. One of them being taking this TV out of the kitchen because last year for Christmas, my husband bought us this huge 86 inch TV. So anywhere I'm standing here in the kitchen, I can see it. So there's no point in having this one in here anymore. So I'm going to take it out. The problem is trying to figure out how to style this area. So what I've done is take some of my decor pieces out of the bins in the guest room. Let me turn the camera around. So what I've done is went in all of my decor bins in the guest room and just pulled out some pieces that I might can use to style that area. I also pulled down all of my cookbooks. Thought maybe that could be a thing. So yeah, that's what we're going to do next. We're going to take that TV down over there and clean that spot up a little bit and try to style that area with some of these pieces here. But before we tackle this area, let me talk about a couple of other spots here in the kitchen. So this area is above the kitchen sink and I used to have artwork here and then I took that down and gave it to my mom. And this command hook is here because every year at Christmas, I hang some sort of Christmas wreath here. But I think that I wanna have some open shelves put here, like one there and then one above it to be able to have a couple of styling moments there and I don't know when I'm going to do that because I also want to paint these cabinets in this kitchen but I thought some open shelves in here would be a good idea what do you guys think should I just take the command hook down and put some artwork there and then just put the command hook back every year for Christmas since they're so easy to take up and down or should I put some open shelving there to be able to have some decor moments up there y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all think I should do with this area right here and the other area 
area is over here. So I got this idea off of Facebook. Someone said to use a shoe rack from Dollar General to store all of your drinks. Well, Dollar General didn't have any shoe racks. So I went to Walmart and I found this shoe rack. I'll insert a picture or a video of the shoe rack that I bought out of Walmart but this was such a good idea. The Facebook post was just saying, if you have huge packages of bottled water or drinks on the floor, use this idea to help corral everything all in one space. And the shoe rack that I bought was $10, but they were saying the one at Dollar General was like $5, but I couldn't find it. This one works out for me. And if you've seen my pantry video, this is the pantry. If you've seen my pantry video from a couple of years ago, we used to put our bottled water in this rolling basket that's here in the pantry. Here, I'll show it. Let me look first, y'all just in case this pantry is not clean. Oh, it's decent. All right, so we used to put our water down here in this rolling basket. This basket has wheels on it. Right now, we just have um, paper towels and things like that in there. Y'all, my pantry actually is pretty decent. So if you've seen that video, the pantry basically looks the same. I think the only thing I've changed is these bottom two bins down here. I've added those and everything else is kind of the same. But yeah, we used to use this bin right here to put our packages of water in. But now, I'm so glad that pantry was clean. <laughs> Um, but now this is the coolest idea ever. Anybody out there that has packages of water or any kind of drink sitting on the floor, try this. It's such a cool thing and it looks good. It's full right now because we haven't touched it, but my husband saw it the other day and he liked it. And yeah, this, this turned out great. So I suggest this to anybody, especially if you have kids and you want it to be something easy to grab and go when you're going out the door, this is a perfect idea. y'all so this is what i have so far i really wanted to take all of my wooden spoons out of this utensil holder and put them in that other empty one i have and put them over here somewhere but for some reason i'm feeling like that would be a bit much i really want to be able to cover up the um outlets here i kind of covered up the um the cable thing for the tv back there with that one big cutting board but kind of feels like it's enough but i really wanted to put my wooden spoons in a separate thing so remember this in your mind and then i'm gonna go try putting my wooden spoons in the separate utensil holder and putting it over here and see how that looks okay now it looks a mess maybe it's just too much going on i don't know maybe i should take this cutting board out and just leave that one like that that looks better. Maybe we'll try that for a moment. Or maybe if I switch and put these here and put the plant there. No, 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 there's too much wood there. Okay, y'all. <laughs> Who said this was going to be easy? All right. So we'll put you back, put you over there. Kind of like that moment. But if I move this away, 
and slide my paper towel holder back over. Now, let's move that. Now it, it just looks empty. Maybe it's because I'm so used to the TV being there, taking up the whole corner. Maybe that's why it feels empty. I don't know, I feel like the candle needs to be sitting on a coaster or something. Y'all, I make coasters. Let me go look in my closet, in my inventory closet, and see if I can find a coaster for the candle to sit on. Okay, so I found these two coasters, and maybe the candle can sit on one of these. I don't really know which one, so we're gonna try them both. There's that one. I already think I like that one. Or that one. Okay, I like that one too. <laughs> and I like this candle because it smells like coffee. Okay, so let me plug this right quick. There is a nurse that works in the ER in the hospital that I work in. She makes these candles. She has a, I think she has a website. So anyway, this is the brand of her candles, Forever Country Candle Company. And I believe all of the names of the candles are names of country songs or lines from country songs. And this one, of course, is called This Morning With Her, This Morning With Her Having Coffee and it smells exactly like coffee. It is a soy-based candle. Let me see if I can open it with one hand. Nope, I can't. Hold please. All right, take two. It's a soy-based candle, coconut soy, I believe. Does that what it say? Yes, coconut soy, and it has a wood wick, and this smells exactly like a fresh pot of coffee, and I'm not kidding y'all, no joke. I bought this one from Home Goods, and it's supposed to smell like French vanilla latte. I bought it because I like the latte art on the top. It smells just like a vanilla latte, but it burns really weird. See how it just burns? I need to do the whole hack thing to make that burn properly. I like this one because it smells like it's supposed to, but this one smells so good, y'all. Oh my God, it smells so good. So I brought out one of the other ones that I bought from her, and this one is called Flowers for Mom. I've bought three or four or five of these things, y'all. They smell so divine, so pretty, and I gave my mom one. It has lavender. I think it's lavender that she's hand poured into this wax. I don't ever wanna burn this because I love it just that much. I have one that she made me that doesn't have the flowers in it. I'll probably burn that one. Anyway, y'all, I just wanted to plug her right quick. Her name is Taylor and she's a nurse in the ER where I work. I'll put her information down in the description box below if y'all wanna check her out. She has some amazing candles. All right, so let's. now that I have it out, let's see what the pink one looks like over there. Nope, too much. <laughs> And let's put this one back because it smells like coffee anyway. So which coaster do y'all like? I think I kind of squirreled there a minute and got off track, but let's just go with this one for the time being because it's all one color and it's really pretty. So this is what we have at the moment. How do y'all think this looks? Let me back up a bit and let you see. I didn't move my olive oils and my salt cellar. I left it all right there. Maybe that's all it needs. I mean, I don't want it to be cluttered, but I also like the fact that all of my spoons, my wooden ones are separated. You know what, maybe it's the rolling pin that's throwing me off. Maybe the rolling pin is too heavy. Let's take that out and try it again without the rolling pin. What about now? Regardless of which way I leave this, it's so much better than the TV. All right, so let's back up and act like we're walking into the kitchen. Oh yeah, that's such a better vibe than that big black hole that was sitting here. I like this a lot. So anyway, y'all, this is what we're working with. We're gonna live with this a few days and see how I like it. Anything is better than the TV that I don't ever turn on anymore. So I think I like this. If I change it, I'll let you guys know. And just in case you saw this as I was going back and forth in this video, this is that soap and lotion set from the Hearth and Hand collection at Target. It's in my kitchen and I really didn't need any lotion in here. So I just put this cute little um, vase that I found. I think it's also from Hearth and Hand. I think it was like $5 at Target. I posted a reel using this on my Instagram today. It doesn't matter when I posted it. Go watch it and check me out. Follow me if you're feeling like following somebody new. All right, y'all, I think I'm going to end the vlog here because I think I packed enough into this vlog to make it long enough 
to have enough content in it, but not too long to where y'all click off of it. But I would like for y'all to let me know if you're enjoying these videos, cause I'm having a ton of fun making them, but I also want you to have a ton of fun watching them. Let me know down in the comments, do I need to add something in? Do I need to take something out? Am I talking too much? Is the music too loud? Let me know something so that I know I'm doing all the right things because like I said, I'm having a really good time making these. I'm also learning that I like to post on either Sundays or Mondays. So that's probably gonna be the kind of schedule that I go with. Just letting you guys know that. But if you turn your post notifications on, then you won't have to worry because YouTube will tell you. But yeah, thank you so much if you've watched this all the way through. If you did, then give me the okay emoji, not the thumbs up but the okay emoji. I'll put it right here so you'll know which one I'm talking about. And oh, I wanted to throw this in there. So I actually have my nails painted in this one and all of my followers or subscribers that are from the nail polish community, my nails are painted. And this is from Cert Colors. It's from two or three summers ago. It's from a summer collection and it's called Retail Therapy. And I've had it on for a day now. And I only put one coat so it's already chipping. So I'm going to paint my nails tonight and put a new color on. But I just wanted to let all of my nail people know that I still paint my nails and I really love this one. So, yeah. But yeah, y'all, I really enjoyed this one and I hope y'all did too. And if you did, come on back so you can see what I'm up to next week. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.